Hello everyone and welcome back. So we're going to be creating our first HTML page or our first web page which is an HTML file in this video. So we are going to be needing a code editor which is Visual Studio Code and a browser. I would recommend using Chrome and Visual Studio Code. If you don't have it yet installed in your computer, please watch my previous video. The link is down in the description below. So let's go ahead and launch this program by double clicking on it. So just click on file and then open folder. And basically what we're doing right now is we are creating a project. Even this one is a simple project because we are definitely going to start simple and later on uh, working on a more complex project. But even so, this is how you really create a project in web development. So what we are going to do now is just decide on where we are going to place our file in our computer. In our case, we will just head over to our desktop. And in, in my desktop, I have two folders here that we can ignore for now. We will be creating a new folder. Uh, I will type here HTML underscore CSS underscore GS underscore projects. So it's up to you how you name your folder. And I'll just go ahead and go inside into this folder. And inside this folder will be a collection of projects that we're going to be doing in this series. So I'm going to create a folder here, which is technically going to be our first project. And I'm going to name this my underscore first web page. So I'll press enter on the keyboard and double click on that folder. And right over here at the lower right hand corner, I'm going to be clicking this button select folder. Normally you don't see this dialog box, but if in case you have this, just check this box so you won't encounter that next time and click this button. Yes, I trust the authors. After this, we right click over here and the new file. And we're going to create here a file called mypage.html. Press enter. So that's it. You have created your first HTML file. But of course, there's nothing on it. So right now, I'll just go ahead and type my name. Just click on file and then save. And if you are going to minimize this, head over to the folder that we have created. As you can see, it's right over here. HTML, CSS, GS projects. If I'm going to double click on that, it opens up a window. And there it is, our project. And you have one file here called mypage.html. If I'm going to double click on it, it will actually open up the browser. And as you can see, that's the text that I have created in Visual Studio Code. So basically, this is already a web page. But right now, this web page is running locally on our computer. Uh, because as you can see here in the URL where the website address is located, it is re residing in C, Users, Administrator, Desktop, and then the, that folder, this folder, and the file itself. And normally, we can actually navigate into that. It's here in this PC and in C, all right? And then users over here and then administrator and then desktop over here. Click on that. And then HTML, CSS, JS projects and the folder, uh, my first web page and then my page HTML. But later on down the line, I'm going to teach you how we can place this on an online storage which will turn this file into an actual website. All right, so once you have done this, congratulations, you just created your first HTML file and see you in the next one.